Christ is my firm foundation, the rock on which I stand. When everything around me is shaken, I've never been more glad that I put my faith in Jesus. Cause he's never let me down. He's faithful through generations. So why would he fail now? He won't. Hello, everybody. He won't. He won't. He won't fail us. No, 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 no. He will not fail us. Christ is our firm foundation. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Behind me today, I have an image of a tree firmly rooted. See all the roots? Can you see that? Kind of dark, but you can see some of the roots over here, way over here. It has gone beyond the width of the tree. Is our faith firmly rooted in Christ? Are we unmovable? If not, let's get there. Let's go ahead and get started with today's word with Joel and Victoria. The scripture is from 2 Samuel 2, 4 from NKJV. Then the men of Judah came, and there they anointed King David over the house of Judah. The title to this devotional is Proving Seasons. David was 17 years old when the prophet Samuel anointed him to become the next king of Israel. What's interesting is that David went back to work in the shepherd's field that, that same day and did not become king until 13 years later. When God gives you a promise, there will always be a waiting period. David was anointed, but he wasn't appointed. He had to go through a season of proving, a season of testing. It involved caring for sheep, being discounted by his father, ridiculed by his brothers, and chased through the desert by King Saul, who was bent on killing him. As with David, you may know you're anointed. God has put promises in your heart, but you're not appointed yet. You're in the proving season. If you keep passing the tests, not getting bitter because people did you wrong, not giving up because it's taking a long time, not slacking off because things are not improving, you're going to come into the fullness of what God has in store. Be patient. Be faithful. Let us pray. Father, I amen this. I amen this um, devotional, this truth. Father, we want to thank you that you are always, always working in our lives to shape our character and prepare us for the next level you have for us. So thank you. Thank you for the seasons of testing where you Prove your faithfulness to us, Lord. Father, we believe that you are taking us higher to be used for your glory. We thank you for shaping, molding, fashioning us. Let us have a good attitude and not be bitter, not complain or gripe with whatever we are facing and what we are to do. But to honor you, Lord, with this time as we prove to you that we are capable because we are listening to you we are doing things in your strength and we will love and we are loving you all the way every step of the way we ask of all these things in jesus strong name amen amen and amen all right my dear brothers and sisters until tomorrow 再见